Hey everybody, it's Yashar here to help you experience something new today. In this video, I will quickly review a new Gear VR game, Rush, and will go over its positive and negative aspects. If you like to see more videos like this every single week, please subscribe to the channel right now. That's being said, let's start the video. Rush is a skydiving game in which you have to jump and then race your opponents and finish the route as soon as possible. The game can be played both offline and online and there are a large variety of levels and maps, about 60 levels, and a number of game modes includes race, time attack and score challenge. Graphics are good, gameplay itself is unique, challenging, immersive and fun, and as I mentioned before there are a lot of tracks, maps and game modes so the game can entertain you for a long period of time. It also gives you the option to select your controlling method either by tilting your head or by looking to different points. The game overall is a good game, but like every game I review on this channel, there are always some aspects of the game that I don't like. First thing I don't like about the game is lack of Gear VR controller support or any kind of gamepad support. This is not acceptable for me. This game could be more fun if we could control the jumper using Gear VR controller and the developers should definitely add, gear, add controller support for this game. Next thing I don't like about the game is voice actings and musics. The voice narration and sound effects sometimes hurt my ear because of the high pitch. It's not good and developers definitely need to address these issues with an update. Plus, I don't like the background music as well, it's monotone for the most part and it's not exciting. Next, lack of diversity. The gameplay is really good, but in every single level you have to do the same thing over and over and over. I would like to see more diverse levels, different objectives, different physics such as heavy rain, heavy snow that actually affects your fly and stuff like that. It will become a little bit boring after a while. And finally. The price tag. The price is so damn high. The price should be something like $4.99 Canadian dollar and not $9. I really don't like the price tag here. My final verdict for Rush is a 7 out of 10. It's a good game but definitely suffers from lack of good sound effects, proper controls and a little bit monotone gameplay. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this every single week, please subscribe to the channel right now. That's being said. Thank you and stay tuned for the next episodes.